Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. I am just finishing up getting ready for work right now. I was gonna do like a little makeup situation, but I'm kind of just like not feeling it. But yeah, just trying to decide what I want to do with my hair because it's kind of dirty. And every time it gets dirty, my extensions start to stick out because my top of my hair is really flat. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it but i've just been having kind of a lazy morning i woke up really really tired today it's very gloomy and i think like the next two days three days maybe are supposed to be gloomy so that's not fun i need to like not let that get to me and like actually get out of bed but i ended up not working out this morning just because i really could not get out of bed so it's fine i might just like work out after work or just have today be a rest day but I am gonna finish getting ready now. I just need to figure out what I'm doing here with my hair and then I have to head to work and it's a pretty easy day today. Tuesdays are kind of like my Mondays because I don't work Mondays so I do a lot of like computer work on Tuesdays usually like right when I get there and then the rest of the day is usually pretty chill. Tuesdays aren't too busy and I think Thing. one of the girls is on vacation this week and then a few of the stylists don't work on tuesdays so it's pretty slow today just because i think there's only two stylists working today i need to double check but i think yeah only two people are working today so i might end up leaving early just because it is going to be pretty slow but i'm just going to see how the day goes i think i'm going to do like a half up situation with my hair but i feel like it's kind of hard Sometimes because my extensions will stick out. I feel like I have to like do it low But my bangs don't look that good to be doing that. I'm gonna just try it and see. Okay, this is not really working the way I wanted it to <laughs> Giving up and just putting a headband on. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear yet today So I'm just gonna put this gray one on and then I may switch it to a black or a white one depending on what I decide to wear. This is usually my go-to when my hair is dirty because it kind of just like makes it look cute without actually doing anything <laughs> and it kind of pushes my hair back so my extensions don't show. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that today. All right, I need to pick out an outfit and I also need to pack my lunch and stuff because I did not do any of that last night. Usually I like to pick my outfit out the night before and pack my lunch the night before, but I was being really lazy last night and did not do that. And I'm regretting it now because I'm having a lazy morning, like I said. So it would have been really convenient of me to do that last night, but alas, I did not. So gonna do that now and finish getting ready and feed my dog and take her out and stuff so gotta do that like right now I'm heading to work now. I made a little matcha. So every time I post this on my Instagram stories, this cup, I get like, I usually post like a commission link for it and literally like every time I post it, five people buy it, which makes me so happy. I love when you guys use my links. It actually like is pennies. Like I don't get much from it, but it's just really cool to know that you guys like the things that I'm posting and it just makes me excited. Even if it's literally like I get 10 cents I'm pretty sure especially from Amazon stuff but anywho yeah if you guys want this cup if you haven't seen it on my Instagram yet um it's usually on my like to know it page which I usually have linked in the description of these videos and it comes in a pack of two for like $18 I'm pretty sure and it's sometimes on sale too randomly so 
they love that but i just made a matcha with vanilla and soy milk i was weird about drinking soy milk for a really long time but i just feel like it's not that deep like i don't know sometimes i get weird about certain things i'm eating or drinking or whatever but i don't know i'm trying not to be like too restrictive with that kind of stuff because I don't usually drink dairy milk, so people say almond milk's bad because of how much water it uses. People say oat milk's bad because of how much sugar's in it. There's like always things of each one, so I don't know. I just like the taste of soy milk the best, and that's what I started drinking when I first went vegan. As you guys know, I'm not vegan anymore, but that was like the first like non-dairy milk that I would drink all the time. Oat milk was not really a thing. I feel like oat milk's like so popular now. When I first went vegan, obviously it like existed, but it wasn't like as popular as it is now. So I always had soy milk and I really like it. So whatever. But anywho, I'm gonna drive to work now. <laughs> My hair looks kind of crazy right now. I had one of the girls wash and blow it out, but I didn't have her style it because I'm gonna do like the heatless curls tonight, I think. But my bangs are like just doing something funky. But anywho, I just got home. Like I said, I'm gonna make some dinner and just relax for the night. I was gonna work out, but I'm just feeling like very tired today and I kind of have a headache and I think it's from this rain. And I think I'm just going to use today as rest day and just not worry about it. But yeah, today was pretty slow at the salon. I think I mentioned earlier there was only two stylists working today. Start to make my dinner. I'm just going to do my go-to salmon, rice, and veggies. Just super easy and like filling. And yeah, that's my go-to dinner lately. And yeah, that's pretty much it for tonight i need to work on editing a youtube video but i don't know if i'm gonna do that just because i'm feeling very tired and i have some like editing to do on my phone as well so we'll see to work i woke up this morning not feeling good i think i've mentioned in previous videos i get pretty bad migraines and usually i'm like good with them because i've been getting them my whole life i can kind of like just go on about my day and like deal with it but i just was struggling this morning but i did work out i did a little leg day and i took one of my migraine medicines and that helped a ton but i was just like struggling through my workout this morning trying to like not throw up honestly i was just really nauseous and i don't know my headaches make me nauseous and like warm and sweaty so i was just like struggling but i feel much better now i like i said i'm about to head to work today should be another pretty easy day i just have one client coming in for an extension move up and then i have a meeting with our payroll company like right after so that's pretty much all i have to like really do today i've kind of explained in other videos my like job is i work at a salon if you don't know but i kind of just do whatever I'm needed to do. I kind of like am a manager, receptionist. I mostly am just like sitting at the desk being a receptionist, but I help the girls that are there and yeah, we have renters and commission girls. So the commission girls I'm kind of like the manager of, especially when my sister's not there. My sister owns the salon also, if you didn't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my role. So I'm mostly checking people in, cashing them out, that kind of stuff for like the most part. But then I also do like some computer work. I do all like the payroll stuff and just like tracking budgeting and that kind of stuff not like super exciting and then i do also take a few clients here and there but i only do extension clients and like bridal styling clients so yeah i don't like have my schedule open to like just take any random client i'm do like by request only just because i 
have too much anxiety to like take clients normally so yeah also i need to start driving because i'm gonna be late if not but yeah that's basically what i do so i have clients here and there but not frequently i probably have like two or three a month honestly when i first started doing extensions they were very popular and now everyone's like chopping their hair which is totally fine so but people just like don't get extensions extensions as much anymore but totally fine it is what it is and obviously that's not like how i make all of my money i'm on salary so it's just like an extra bonus if i do get an extension client so yeah that's what i do for work if you didn't know i think i've explained in previous videos but I know not all of you have watched all of my videos, but it is really rainy today, which is probably why I had a migraine this morning. Almost every time it rains, mostly rains heavy, I get a migraine, which is really not fun, especially because I live in Buffalo and it rains and snows a lot, but it's all good. I feel so much better after I've taken my medication. But I only have one left and wasn't able to get a refill last time because I didn't have insurance. But now that I have insurance, I should be able to get a refill. I just have to go to my neurologist, which I think I have an appointment next week actually, so it should line up pretty well. But hopefully I just don't get more than one migraine before then. work it's raining pretty hard right now so I'm sorry if you can hear it hitting my car but anywho I'm gonna go in the house and make some dinner quick and I'm just gonna do my usual and then I think I'm gonna go to my sister's house because I have to drop her off some cash from the salon and she's got to give me a business credit card and I want to see the baby obviously so I'm gonna do that and yeah that's pretty much it for tonight just about to head to work my hair is just like not cooperating this week with me but it's fine i had kind of a lazy morning yet again my apple watch wasn't charged and i am toxic where i think if i can't track my workout it doesn't count so i put it on the charger obviously but i it didn't work out because i was waiting for it to charge so i am gonna work out after work today because i just I couldn't do it. I can't work out without <laughs> tracking it. It's so bad. The only thing I'll do is like go on walks without tracking it. But the Apple Watch is toxic in that way. Like I feel like I need to track my workout or it doesn't count. Which obviously it does, but I woke up late anyway, so I probably would have been rushing around if I had worked out. So it's fine. I just had a little lazy morning, drank some coffee in bed, and scrolled instagram a little bit i feel like my workout routine has gotten better i feel like i've definitely like had a better mindset about it recently i definitely feel like working out at home has helped with that like i don't know what it is about at home workouts it's just so much easier for me and i just feel more motivated to do them for some reason i was just thinking last night that i do want to go back to lookery and spin classes but i I'm undecided like I think I'm just gonna do each once a week like maybe one luxury class at night during the week and then maybe going to spin on Saturdays which I was doing for a while and I actually really like that so I'm gonna see I need to like look at their schedule and see what they have and I'm debating on doing that because honestly like my biggest insecurity about myself is my legs and I just feel like they've gotten really big which sounds so silly but like I feel like everyone just has their own insecurities always been something I've been insecure about like there was periods in high school and like college time that even in the summer I would not wear shorts skirts nothing like I would only wear jeans or like leggings and trousers like weren't really a thing then so like I literally would just be sweating in the summer in my jeans because I was just so insecure about them and I still am but I maybe like when I started working out was when I started to feel like not so insecure about them and then I don't know I just obviously I've mentioned in previous videos I didn't really work out a ton last year because I was traveling so much and I feel like that made me I don't know like just I feel like I've definitely gained weight I know I have for a fact like I like hate weighting myself waiting I hate weighing myself and like I don't 
I don't know. I don't like to like think about like the numbers because I know you can like gain muscle and your weight doesn't really always matter in that sense. But I was 145 a year ago and now I'm 165. So that just like makes me like obviously seeing those numbers and like the difference makes me a little insecure in itself and I definitely think a lot of it went to my legs unfortunately because I cannot fit into like any of my jeans right now which is honestly my most annoying thing because I have a lot of cute jeans and I literally can't get my legs in them and I also bought a ton of like long denim skirts last summer and I can't get any of them over my legs and it just makes me upset and I'm trying to not think of that and I'm like having anxiety thinking about pulling out my shorts from last year too so that's another thing that I'm you know struggling with but again it's all good and I definitely feel like I'm back on a better routine but my point of that was I feel like spin really helps with losing weight in my legs so I definitely want to go back to spin but I'm just gonna like look at their schedule and see what they have um anywho the other thing I've been doing is tracking my food on the app my fitness pal i feel like that's a really popular one and most people have probably heard of it i feel like that's definitely helped too because i'm i don't think i've ever ate unhealthy but it's nice to see like if i'm overeating i feel like a lot of the time i was overeating and that definitely helps me just like track and see to make sure i'm not overeating so yeah that's my little update but i'm driving now and we all know i can't multitask okay i just parked at work but I got anxious driving and talking before, so really quick, I just wanted to talk about the My Fitness Pal app that I've been using. Basically, I feel like it's been helping a lot because I obviously, like I said, I don't feel like I eat unhealthy, but I do feel like I eat too much sometimes. Like, I'll, I get bored and eat. It's not like I'm like starving myself right now, but I definitely feel way better about the amount I'm eating, and I feel like having the app and tracking is kind of making me more aware of like overeating I'm like like if I'm just bored and want a snack for no reason it's like I have to track that obviously so I'm like okay do I really need this or am I just bored so that's been helpful for sure and I'm trying to like cut back on like overeating and just bored eating like not eating when I'm not hungry because I'm really bad with that especially like on the weekends and at night like if I make my dinner early and then I'm just like sitting in bed for the rest of the night like I'll be like I think I'm hungry and I'm not so it's definitely helped with that and I think the biggest thing with losing weight is just being in a calorie deficit so burning more than what you're eating is what I've heard I know nothing about this kind of stuff so don't take my advice at all but this is just like what I'm doing in what's working for me but I do really like the my fitness pal app I don't pay for the subscription for it but I think I'm going to I just told myself I need to like use it for like two weeks straight to like justify paying $80 for it it's $80 for the year so it's not terrible but I've been using it for probably almost two weeks now I've never been like the type of person to like weigh myself and like keep track of that but I have been weighing myself just to see and it actually is, has been more reassuring for me rather than like Hurting. within the last two weeks I've lost like almost two pounds not quite two pounds but that's definitely reassuring obviously I get kind of annoyed if it like goes up a little if it's like 165.4 rather than 165.2 or whatever it is but I have lost almost two pounds so that's really nice to see and just to be able to see that like difference and I'm trying not to weigh myself every day but it's kind of hard I've like kind of been in a weird habit of doing it I think once a week would be plenty just because obviously if I'm doing it every day I'm seeing those weird flux fluctuations I can't speak and not weird but like just your body fluctuates so it's obviously it's gonna go up one day go down the other another day and it's definitely a little bit toxic honestly so I'm gonna try to just cut down to like once a week because I think that's plenty and yeah that's what has been working for me right now I've been enjoying working out at home obviously I didn't work out two days this week that I filmed this video so it's been mostly good but this week's a little weird because it's just gloomy and I'm having trouble getting out of bed this week but I'm gonna work out tonight. I think on Tuesday I said I was gonna maybe work out at night, but I was just feeling really tired on Tuesday, so I ended up not working out at all. And I'm definitely gonna try to go on more walks as soon as it gets warm out again. It's supposed to be warm this weekend, so I'll probably play tennis and go on some walks and stuff. So that definitely helps 
especially with my mood like when the weather is nice and I can like be outside and go on walks I feel so good and honestly like I don't know I've definitely felt like in a better mindset recently but yeah that's my little update I need to go work now so I will chat with you guys later okay I'm actually leaving work a little early today because I have a nail appointment and he just asked if I could come earlier so I'm going home now to pick up my sister because we go together and yeah I'm gonna pick her up and then head right for a nail appointment and then I'm gonna come home oops do a quick workout and then make some dinner and yeah that's the plan for tonight I have no idea what I'm gonna do to my nails yet I think I'm just gonna do like a plain color but I'm undecided it got really cold I feel like I feel like it was kind of warm earlier not like warm warm but like decent and now I'm like freezing I need to blast my heat but anywho I'm gonna head home and grab my sister now <laughs> 